All right, guys, welcome back to Survival Living here. So, yes, retaking this video again. Um, again, Israel was attacked earlier, and anywhere from three to 5,000 rockets were fired. There are reports of several hundred commandos that have invaded Israel, uh, lower regions of Israel, and some reports even said Tel Aviv. My apologies, we've got some really bad weather out here. So, uh, I haven't confirmed those reports, by the way. One of the things I do want to talk about is that in my earlier video, I said that Israel was part of NATO. That's actually incorrect. Israel is not part of NATO. Israel is a non-NATO ally of the United States. I always thought they are part of NATO, but they're not. So, I want to clarify that for you guys. They are not part of NATO. My big concern is this attack. Now, this is the biggest attack on Israel since the 70s. Um, they had commandos coming in by vehicles. They had coming in from the sky, parachuting in. They even had reports of paragliders. I'm guessing that's paratroopers. I don't think they were taking hang gliders in, but then again, maybe. And also by sea, we're invading. This is an invading force. This isn't just an operation going in and blowing some stuff up. They're actually taking military bases that are being reported, destroyed a lot of military bases, and snatching up civilians. Yeah, kidnapping civilians, hostages. Yeah, this is very big news. And we here in the States, uh, you guys watching right now, preppers, you need to maybe make sure you are prepping, okay? My concern, and that's what I talked about in the other video, was Israel moving forward with their first strike using a nuclear weapon in a defense or retaliation. Yeah. Now, Israel did retaliate. They did go back and uh, kind of like a counterattack, and a lot of their troops were taken hostage. Yeah, captured. Netanyahu says this is war, not an operation, not just trading rockets. This was actual war, like he's declaring war. Uh, something like this, guys, is big. Okay, with everything going on with Ukraine and Russia, this adding to the powder keg, you need to be preparing as much as possible. Now, one of the reasons I took down my other video is because I was, when I reviewed it, it seemed very end of the worldish, fear pornish. That's not what I was trying to do. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to encourage you to prep. This is a major situation that's developing. I'm going to keep an eye on it and make sure, you know, what's going on with it. Uh, one of the reasons why we also fixing this is because I said it was they're related, they're in with NATO. They're not. They're a non-NATO ally with the United States. So I want to make sure we speak clear and actual correct information. So yeah, I pulled down those other videos because of multiple things. One, it seemed very fear pointers when I was trying to review it. And two, need accurate information. All right. As preppers, we try to stockpile, prepare, train for anything and everything. My concern, guys, is that if this goes major event, I mean, for the people there in Israel right now, this is a major event. I mean, I was watching social media videos, live streams, people posting this stuff. They're there. Uh militants all over the place capturing them breaking into their homes i mean these are they're in these people civilians homes yeah now do i expect some major attack here in america probably not not anytime soon it has to, i think there's gonna be more escalation of other things my biggest fears my biggest concerns is the preppers that emp blast knock us out of the fight before we get into the fight but that's my opinion everybody has plenty of opinions trust me i know what I want you to do as a prepper is make sure that you are prepared. Okay? Make sure you have food, water filtration. Make sure you have medication. Make sure that you have the ability to turn on air, um, power to a mini fridge if you're reliant on keeping medication cool to sustain your life. Insulin, things of that nature. All right, guys? If this goes into a major conflict, it's just, uh, just another stepping stone into another war, a global war. You're not going to the store to go buy food. Not like we do today. Food's going to be through the roof. 
wartime economy is going to be crazy. All right, you can look back in history on World War II. It's going to be the same. The only difference is it's going to be worse for people in today's society because they are not hardened at all. They're not. You look at them wrong, they have a freaking meltdown. Now imagine them in some major stuff where they're starving. No cell phone, no internet, no nothing, you know. It's going to be a wake-up call for a lot of people. What you need to do as a prepper is make sure your family's prepared for what's coming. All right, guys, so I have a clip video that's going to be popping up here. Um, so I'll be stopping this video and clipping in our weekly prep video. Um, I was actually filming that before all this news came my direction. So I encourage you guys to watch the weekly prep video. Hopefully it lights a fire underneath that butt that you start adding more stocks. Because if everything happens, you're not going to the store to buy stuff. Not like it is today. All right, guys. Speak to you all later. All right, guys. Welcome back. Survival Living here. So today we have a weekly prep. This is actually... We got it last week when we had other things come in. But anyway, these things are actually to encourage you to prepare. Prepare as much as possible every week. Go do a little something at the store. Put it back for you and your family. So let's go with what we got. Now, before we get into the food, guys, yes, we have supplements here. I'm not selling you supplements. I'm just showing you what we use here at the house. What I use, all right? I have a heavy training regiment coming up, and I use supplements because... I hurt like hell when I'm done. So, protein powder. I slip protein powder. This is Body Fortress. This is my favorite one I use. They do have a strawberry flavor, which is pretty good. BCAA. Uh, this is Muscle Recovery Electrolytes. I take that. Creatine. Now, I mix my creatine with my BCAA along with... My beta alanine, all in one shake, makes it so much easier to process. Uh, this is testosterone. Yes. We have turkesterone. And we also have other products from Black Forest as well. So, now that supplements are out of the way, let's get into the food. Alright guys, so, Walmart run. Yeah, the Walmart run. I don't care where you buy your food, as long as you're buying food for you and your family. Now, this goes into a two, actually a two and a half year rotational stock. We're not quite there at three years yet. This is rotational food. A lot of people have a problem understanding what I'm saying this. This food will last longer than two years. Absolutely. But I have enough put back that if anything happens, I have two years worth of food put back now this is rotational stock this is stuff we actually eat don't start buying a whole bunch of canned goods and dry goods and go store in a shelf or in a hole somewhere and never touch it it'll eventually go bad this stuff here is constantly being cycled we're constantly cooking with this stuff so it never goes bad all right so this trip here guys we picked up two of the four packs let me pull this up here this is the chunk chicken breasts these things are freaking expensive now. Ten bucks, four cans of chicken. But we stock up a lot of this, and we actually use this a lot in our cooking on a weekly basis here. So that's an additional eight cans. Now, I know a lot of people don't like spam, and that's quite all right. You don't have to like what I prep, but that's okay because I'm not buying it for you to eat. That's the facts. This is what... I eat. I love the bacon and I love the hickory smoke. Yes, so we loaded up a big time because it was actually on sale for once. This stuff here was uh, right under $3 a can. Yeah, I've been paying over four bucks a can and it was just a hair under $3. So we stacked up on it as much as possible. So we got 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I'm missing one. What in the world? That's 16, 17, 18, 19. yeah, I'm missing one. All right. It's probably in the yard or in the truck because I got something else to show you. I had a bag bust open on me, and yeah, that was in the parking lot. Yeah, see that nice little dent right there? See that? This is going to have to get cycled in front of everything because... 
the can could be compromised and uh, I just don't want to go in bad. That's on the carrots. All right. And guys, if you're wondering just how much I love spam, check out that video right there. It is the cringiest thing you will ever see on the internet. I'm telling you right now. All right. It's on carrots. All right, moving on. We've got great value chili, no beans. As much as I love my precious Wolf Brand chili, Angus beef, they were out. Yes. I've taken this one on trips before. It is the pull top. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, all of our vegetables that we picked up, I was actually fine sealed cans. Shocked me. I was so happy to see it. But these here are pull tops. So we've got six, 12 of those. Throw that in on some rice. Freaking awesome. I've taken this stuff out camping with me, take some rice and take a couple of cans of chili with me. Oh, you're talking about a happy boy? <laughs> yeah, can't go wrong. And again, you prep whatever it is that you want. This is what we eat and tastes very well. Moving on. All right, so we've got two flats of whole kernel corn. These things are 68 cent a can now at my local Walmart. Now, I want people to understand this. Every store's price is different, depends on the city and the state, mainly because of the cost of living and also minimum wage. All right, so when people say, well, it must be nice to have that great of a price, how much do you make an hour and what's your minimum wage in your state? Okay, I live in poor town, Bay County, Florida. You're not making jack on the hour. So, that is why. So we got two of those. We also got two flats of green beans. This is no salt. You can get green beans with salt. I don't care. Uh, we have a lot of salt stockpiled. Salt does not go bad. So we got two more flats of that. This stuff here, guys, is going to a location for storage. This doesn't go on our shelf. This is all correct dates, things like that. These are going to be in the back of our stacks. What we show here at the house that we put on the shelf, that's stuff that has to be utilized and used now. This stuff here goes in the far back of the stack, which makes it into a rotational stock. Now, this here has me concerned, guys. This is carrots over here. We've got six, seven, eight of the great value. What's crazy is this is what you see here as far as carrots. That was it on the shelf. Eight of the great value. And these were four of the Libby, okay? And that was it. There was a total of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cans. I got every single one of them because our carrot stocks were low. Also, carrots are through the freaking roof. The great value, all right, great value of everything else was 68 cents. That was a dollar nine. Yeah. I usually paid like 40 some cents to 50 cents max, 51. Dollar nine. And I forgot how much the Libby's were, but they were more expensive. But now back to this can. Yeah, I dropped it, bag ripped open on me, and I got this big old dent. So we're gonna have to cycle that and use that first. So anyway, guys, appreciate you hanging out with me. Hopefully this encourage you to go to the store, put food back. Rotational stock, guys. You don't have to get what we get. No. I've seen the comments. Uh, that stuff is full of nitrates, phosphates, pig parts, whatever. I don't care. I love the taste of it. Um, now, if you're just sitting on your ass all the time and don't do actually any physical training, no physical activity whatsoever, you just sit on a couch eating cans of Spam, yeah, you might run into a health issue. Okay? But that goes with anything. And odds are, you're probably also eating Twinkies at, right now. Okay? So, you do you, I'll do me. My physical activity level is through the freaking roof. Um, exercise, everything's good, great gains. If I want to eat freaking spam, I'm going to eat freaking spam. All right, guys. Speak to you later.